Hello guys, welcome back. So in this video, we will be learning about LZW encoding. So this is another dictionary technique for encoding the input string. So let's start. So here I have the algorithm LZW encoding. Enter all letters to the dictionary. Initialize string S to the first letter from input. While any input is left, read symbol C. If S plus C is in the dictionary, S equals to S plus C, else output code word of S. Enter S plus C to the dictionary, S equals to C and output code word of S. So this is the basic algorithm. Okay. So now let's see the problem. I'll explain you the steps while solving the problem. Okay. So here I have the problem. Encode the string A, B, A, B, A, C, B, A, C. B A D triple A. Okay, you have to encode this using L Z W. So let's start. So here I have the table, coder, dictionary, two columns and two sub columns, input, output, index and entry. Okay. And this is another separate table for these two pointers S and C. Okay. So now what you have to do? You have to find you all the unique letters from this input string. Okay. So here you have A, B, C and D. So you have these four unique letters. So now you have to sort them in alphabetical order and write them in the entry. Okay. So you get A, B, C, D and assign them indices from one to those many letters. Okay. So here we have four. So indexing from one to four. Okay, so now let's process the input. So you have these two pointers. We'll update these pointers at each step. Okay, so let's see. So now S points to this first letter and C points to the second letter in the first step. Okay, so this is your S and this is your C. So now what you have to do? Check if S plus C is in the dictionary so what is s plus c a plus a that is a so check if a is in the dictionary see here we don't have a a in the dictionary so take that in the input and now what you have to output is the index for s okay so our s is a and c is a okay so you have to output the index for s that is a what is the index for a one so you have to output one Okay, so increment the index and write this input in the entry column as it is. Okay, as we did in the LZ78 encoding. So now what you have to do is increment both these counters. Okay, in the input string. So previously S was pointing to this and C was pointing to this. So increment both. Now C points to B and S points to A. Okay, so. Now your S is A and C is B. Okay. So concatenate both and check if A B is in the dictionary. See here we don't have a A B in the dictionary yet. So take that in the input and what you have to output the index for S. Okay. So what is S A? See here we have a S S A. So what is the index for A? 1. So you have to output 1. Okay. So increment the index and write this input in the entry column. Next increment both counters. So S was pointing to this and C was pointing to this. So now increment both. So now your C is A and S is B. Okay. Please keep track of this. Don't get confused. So now you get B A. So check if B A is in the dictionary. So we don't have a B A in the dictionary yet. So what you do, take that in the input, okay, and output the code word for S. So your S is B, so you have to output the index for B, that is 2. So output a 2, increment the index and write this input in the entry column, okay. So now increment both counters, so your S was B and C was A. So increment both, now C points to this B and s points to this a okay so now check if 
S plus C that is AB is in the dictionary. So see here we have a AB in the dictionary. So what you do in such case you just increment the counter C. Okay. So see here you got AB. So S points to A and C points to B. So you have to incre increment this counter that is C. So now C points to A and now what is your S? These both letters. Okay. So C points to the next letter and what is S? What S previously was plus what C previously was. Okay. The concatenation of both. Okay. When C moves forward S becomes the concatenation of S and the previous C. Okay. So now C points to A and this is your S. Okay. A B is your S. So now check if S plus C is in the dictionary that is A B A is in the dictionary. So we don't have a A B A in the dictionary. So what do you do? You take that in the input and you have to output the index for S. Now what is your S? A B. And what is your C? A. So output the index for S. So what is the index for A B? 6. So output 6. Increment the index and write this input in the entry. Okay. I hope you got this. See here again. I'll tell you. We already had a b in the dictionary. Okay. So what we did? We incremented this counter c, and our s becomes the concatenation of both these letters. Okay. So remember this. So now let's move ahead. So c was pointing to this. So now c points to the next letter. And this was our S and S points to what C previously was. Okay. So this was our S. Now S points to the next letter. So this is your C and this is your S. So now check if AC is in the dictionary. See here we don't have a AC in the dictionary yet. Okay. So take that in the input and output the code word for A or index for A that is 1. So you have to output 1, increment the index and write this in the entry. Okay, so now increment both counters. So C points to this and S points to this. You get CB. Check if CB is in the dictionary. We don't have a CB in the dictionary yet. Okay, so take that in the input and output code word for S. What is S? C. So output code word for C that is 3. So output 3, increment index and write this CB in the entry as it is. Next, increment both counters. You get BA. Now check if BA is in the dictionary. Okay. See here we have a BA in the dictionary. So what you do? Increment just the counter C. Okay. So now you got BA. So C was pointing to this. Now increment C. C points to this A. And this becomes your S. Okay. So now check if BA is in the dictionary. I hope you got this. C points to the next letter. And as this two letters combined together becomes your S. Okay. So now check if BA that is S plus C is in the dictionary. So we don't have a BA in the dictionary yet. So what do you do? Take that in the input and output the code word for S. What is S here? So output code word for B that is 7. So output 7 increment the index and write this BA in the entry. Okay. Now increment both counters. So C was pointing to this and this was your S. So now C points to this and S points to this. So you got AC. Now check if AC is in the dictionary. So we already have a AC in the dictionary. So what do you do? Increment the counter C. So increment C. Now C points to this and this becomes your S. Okay. So now check if ACB is in the dictionary. We don't have a ACB in the dictionary yet. So take that in the input and output the code word or index for S that is AC. What is the index for AC? 9. So output a 9, increment the index and write this ACB in the entry. Okay. So now increment both counters. So this was your S and this was your C. So now C points to this and a S points to this B. Okay. So you get B. Check if BA is in the dictionary. We already have a BA in the dictionary. So what do you do? Increment the pointer C. So 
C points to this and this becomes your S. Okay. So you get BAA. So now check if BAA is in the dictionary. So we have a BAA in the dictionary. So increment the counter C. So now C was pointing to this. So C points to this D and this whole thing becomes your S. Okay. So whatever S previously was plus what C previously was. Okay. So this becomes your S and this becomes your C. So now check if BAAD is in the dictionary. We don't have a BAAD in the dictionary. So take that in the input and write the index for S that is BAA. So what is the index for BAA? 11. So output 11. Increment index and write this in the entry. Okay. So now this was your C. Increment C you get A. And this was your S. So now this points to D. So you get DA. Check if DA is in the dictionary. We don't have a DA in the dictionary. So take that in the input and output code word of S. That is D. So code word for D is 4. Or index for D is 4. So you output 4. Increment the index and write this DA in the entry. Okay. Now increment both counters. So C points to this and S points to this. Check if A is in the dictionary. So A is already in the dictionary. So what do you do? Increment counter C. So C points to this and this is your S. Okay. So you get S plus C as 3A. Now check if AA is in the dictionary. So we don't have a A in the dictionary. So take that in the input and output the code word associated with S. That is AA. So what is the index for A? 5. So you output 5. Increment the index. And write this in the entry column as it is. Okay. So now your input is fully processed. And this is the output that you get. Okay. So write this from top to bottom. You get 1, 1, 2, 6, 1, 3, 7, 9, 11, 4, 5. So this is your final encoded string. Okay. So again, you have to keep track of these pointers S and C at each step. Okay. So S initially points to the first letter and C to the second letter. You have to concatenate both and check if they are in the dictionary. If they are not in the dictionary, you have to take those and output the code word for S. Okay. And if they are already in the dictionary, what you do? You increment the counter C and S becomes what S previously was plus what C previously was. Okay. So then you write the output for S in the output column. Okay. So these are the two cases that you have to remember. If S plus C is in the dictionary or not in the dictionary. Okay. So I hope it was clear to you. If you have any doubts, you can ask me in the comment section. Okay. So thank you for watching. Keep learning.